When I was in high school, I wrote a letter to Rich Eisen, then a new but popular sports center anchor. He sent me back a handwritten note, plus an autographed picture that said, Mike, you got it. Sadly, no one has ever heard of him since. <laughs> or he's become the face of the NFL network, as well as hosting his own direct TV and Fox Sports radio show. Eisen is a funny guy, a Michigan graduate, and he is passionate about his Wolverines. He invited our LA correspondent, Jeff Cesario, to his studios. I'm gonna let you right off the chain. Okay. Michigan, when yes. did you know you're, you got Michigan in your blood? As a kid, when did it click in? Oh, oh I gosh. hate Ohio State. No, 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 no. I, 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 this was all acquired. I'm from New York City. So my first year, uh, Harbaugh was the quarterback, and he guaranteed victory over Ohio State. And I'm like, I love this guy. Yeah. And then I also just you know, got into the whole old school, three yards cloud of dust, two tight end, fullback set type mentality. I really yeah. got into it and then learned to Ohio, hate Ohio State. Now I'm trying to teach my kids the same thing. You know, it's funny, my five-year-old trying to teach him this line that he would repeat to other people when they come into the house, which is, who are the two teams we root, root for in this house? It's Michigan and anybody playing Ohio State. So I try to teach him that during the Michigan-Wisconsin game, and something <laughs> is stuck with him where every time I try to get him to say the line, I'm like, you know, Cooper, who are the two teams that we root for in this house? And he goes, Michigan and Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Hold on. No, that's no, not no. bad. You know, we're. I know that. I know. As a Badger, I that's know. not bad. I know that. What was it like guest coaching? Well, I was. Yeah, I was the honorary captain week two. It was incredible. I, I I'm married now um, for 13 years and have three beautiful children. So me being the honorary captain for Michigan against Central Florida this year was number five on the all-time wow. greatest things that I've ever done list. You know, I went out um, for the toss, and it was Jake Butt and the rest of the honor, uh, regular captains, and Harbaugh saying to 100,000 people around us, Harbaugh tells them, you know, okay, if we win, we want to go this way. If we lose, we want to go that way. So um, we go out there, and, you know, Jake Butt, like, gives me a fist pound which is video that's still on my, pinned to my Twitter page. <laughs> I'm serious. This thing, I mean, uh, you know, I mean, I'm very fortunate, Jeff, to do what I do for a living for now 20 years nationally. And, um, you know, so I don't get emotionally invested in sports very often. Right. Right. But your alma mater is a spot where you as a broadcaster can get emotionally invested, or at least it's somewhat acceptable. I remember Stuart Scott would always talk about, obviously all the time, North Carolina. And I would talk about Michigan, but if he talked about the Bears or I talked about the Yankees on SportsCenter, that was verboten. That was a no-no. Like, that's frowned upon. That's how powerful this rivalry is because sure. you actually got airlifted into it at age 18 and dropped. Oh, God, and it means so much to and me. And in four years, oh, yeah. you were like, this is the most important thing. Oh, life. my gosh, no doubt about it. But anyway, so Harbaugh gives us the instructions. We're going out there. Central Florida wins a toss, and we're walking back. Jake Butt looks at me, and he goes this way or that way and I thought to myself holy shit. you know like I didn't know I, I, I this is honorary captain like I didn't know there was, was actual like responsibilities here and I thought Harbaugh want to go this way so he points that way and I point that way and I'm like thinking to myself uh oh I don't know if this is gonna be the right one or not walking back now to the sideline and Harbaugh is like full-on coach mode, like looking around, wild-eyed in a way, like just getting ready for the game. He's into uh -huh. it. And I'm thinking to myself, uh-oh, what if I point in the wrong direction? We're going in the wrong way. <laughs> and so suddenly Harbaugh snaps out of it, sees me, big smile on his face, and he goes, hey, nice ovation. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, okay, okay. All right, do me a favor. Got a big game coming up, last game of the season for Michigan. Mm -hmm. Look right in your camera, yeah. give him a little pep talk. And now there's no, okay. there's no Harbaugh kneeling behind you. There's no pressure. Oh, God. Mm. Are we taking that end zone or that end zone? Okay. Give the speech you okay. want. Okay. Right uh, Michigan guys out there watching, you know how I feel about you. You know what I, I told you when I saw you in week two. Now, when you go out there and you play Florida State, just know this. Go ahead and win because the alternative, I just can't can take it anymore. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, go blue. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, nobody's stopping that. We're done.